great in the first, everything seems to be clicking. When did things kind of start to change from your point of view? Um, you know, the big thing, and I told the guys, we have to come out right away and throw the first punch, and that's what we did. But part about throwing the punch is you have to understand your opponent. They're not just going to, no one's going to quit against us. So when they start punching back, we have to continue to fight. And we started being the more aggressive team, and then it quickly turned in the second quarter when they became the more aggressive team on the second and third. Uh, and that, that was kind of the tail of the tape right there. When they started getting more aggressive with us, we didn't respond well at all. Um, you know, we talked about before the game, we knew this was a team that forced a lot of turnovers. And those are, you know, in the second quarter, we had nine turnovers for 18 points. It's really hard to, when you're not getting those shots up, three back core violations. I'm not sure when's the last time we had anyone has been around the game. We had three half court violations in one quarter. So we did not respond to their aggression. And they, you know, figuratively speaking, started throwing punches. And literally speaking, we get them back on our heels. You obviously see it much better than I do. What makes them so good about forcing turnovers? Um, I think that it, this is something, you know, I, I said to our team, like, it's not, you don't have one individual that's being aggressive. You have a team full of people being aggressive. So as a referee, I think, you know, it's, it's hard to call everything when they're doing everything constantly. So if you're not matching that same type of aggression where you're doing the same thing, either the referee is going to have to start calling it on everybody or they're going to continue to allow them to do it. And we have to kind of be in their heels. So it's one of those things that they, they just have a, they, they play hard, they play well, they play their very, tied together and what they're doing. Um, I think Van Fleet's an amazing leader on the court for them. Uh, he you know, gets people where they're supposed to be and gets them playing hard. And Nick Nurse, I have the most respect for him as well. I think he does a good job of getting his guys revved up when they need to be. And, um, you know, Barnes, amazing rookie, he really did his thing tonight as well. Um, maybe his best game of the year, I would say. Uh, and then, you know, Siakam is Siakam. He's going to give you a basket when you need to get a basket as well. So it's just a tough team all together. And they played well tonight. And I just think that we did not match their aggression. That's the one thing I said when I was in here with you guys earlier. We have to match their aggression. We have to come out just as physical and ready to play as they are. And we did at the beginning, but we didn't in the second or third quarter. I mean, even their points in the paint in the second and third, you know, they finished with, what, 44? They had 34 of those in the second and third quarter. And you look at even our our quarter scoring, they had 20 in the first, 18 in the fourth. It's the 71 and the, those two other ones that really just just knocked us down. When the momentum swung back in your favor, um, what was the difference? Uh, I think that we, we started to play a little harder. Um, and we made the, the right passes and the right plays when we, um, we also, I mean, we mixed up our defense a little bit, went zone right there at the end. I think that was productive for us as well. They're punching the ball inside a lot. Uh, and, you know, it, it's crazy looking here and seeing that we had 12 second chance points because it felt like they had 50 uh, just because they got them when they needed them. Um, we needed to do a better job of just making sure we finish possessions constantly. And valuing possessions, like we said this before, it's valuing possessions. We have to be a better team at valuing possessions, giving up 27 points off of our turnovers and to lose by four. That's it's really, it's going to be a difficult, difficult battle, difficult games to win if we continue to do that. Going away from Gafford after his scoring early in the game, was it a matter of something that he did that you didn't like or of, of something else you wanted to get from other players at that position? Uh, I'm just trying to look for something else. Just trying to look for a different energy in the game. I don't think there's anything specific against him. I mean, you know, I think TB in his first stint when he came in brought a lot of energy, did some good things. Um, and then, you know, Trez is an energy guy, and I felt like we, we were at a time when we needed some energy. So hopefully bringing those two in would, would kind of change the ties and get us flowing in the right direction. How do you think Rui's physicality is challenging? Uh, I think he did a good job, you know, and, and I, I, when I talk about Rui right now, I hate to include Denny, but I think that, you know, they did, they both did a good job of stepping up to the challenge of guarding their man when we needed them to. And um, obviously some, some big rebounds when we needed them. So I'm, I'm pleased with the way he played. 
Um, I just think, you know, it, it, it's a general across the board. We just have to be a more aggressive team, like in general. I like get everything about what we do, even when we get called for offensive fouls on screens. The tic tac fouls, yeah, they can they call them or not call them, call them, but we have to set harder screens. And the same thing in defense, like we get called for um, and one plays. Why are we giving up free throws? Why are we giving up layups? If we're going to foul, foul them. And that's part of being a team and have that mentality of we are an aggressive team. We are a team that fights like that. And we have to, we have to do a better job of doing that. Nine turnovers for Brad. What was uh, the common threads there? Uh, you know, well, Toronto does a very good job of um, shrinking the court. Uh, they're going to collapse on Brad quite a bit. They did that a lot tonight. Um, you know, a lot of times, a lot, uh, some teams that do that will come help and get back to their man, where Toronto's very good at they're going to stay there until you get off the ball. And I think that was kind of the difference right there. They stayed there and they made it difficult. And again, it's the physicality. They, you know, they start riding him with their arms, getting him off balance. And now he's on his heels trying to find the open man. It's it's very just, they're difficult passes to make, but also, you know, I, I think even Brad will say that he can do a better job of looking for open people. I mean, he did a wonderful job in my opinion, in the first quarter, getting us going. He, you know, he had the nine turnovers, but he had eight, eight assists. I'm not sure how many of those were in the first quarter, but there was quite a few where he made the, the extra pass and did some good things. Coach, in your experience, what's the kind of key to teams who can keep that either consistency for the full 48 or kind of know, manage better, I guess, when they're um, putting less energy out there for short bursts of time? Could you start to re repeat the initial yeah, question of it? So for what you're talking about with just wanting to the consistent effort and everything, yeah. in your experience, what's been the key to that if the teams can do that? Is it a cultural thing? Is it you've got the leaders in the locker room who are, you know, setting that example? I think it's a little bit of everything. Uh, just having a men the correct mentality to understand that's, uh, I think it's, it's a shift in mentality to understand this is who we want to become. So it's, you know, a, a, I'm not big on the word culture, but I think it's a building a community in which you believe that's how you are and how you want to be and picking each other up, pushing each other to be better in the right ways. Um, not that we haven't had that, but I just think that it's a, it's a really just a shift in mentality for us. We have to understand that, you know, we have a lot of people come together for the first time from different organizations. And it's about understanding that, you know, this is a team the Washington Wizards where no one's going to back down from us. We have to go out and uh, what's the saying? You eat what you kill. You have to go out there and really go out there and take, we have to take wins because no one's going to give them to us. Nobody is like, no matter who we play, no matter where we are, we can be up 20 and no one's going to falter and say, okay, well, they're the Washington Wizards. We're going to stop now. It's not going to happen. They're always going to believe they can come back. They're always going to believe they can come back. So we have to continually be that aggression, aggression. We can't get up 15 points and then start making the wild pass, the wild play. They're going to keep fighting against us. And we have to learn to keep fighting back. Did you know that you had to play more people than you normally would because you have to reacclimate to people who are on the ministry trip? How tough is it to be consistent with the team when the you're playing half the play versus getting consistent with the You know, it's, it's, uh, that's a tough question to answer because it's only three games we've had the full roster. So we're still trying to manage that to the best of our abilities and understand it. And it's a very, diff it, it's, it's delicate, it is difficult for sure. You want to find out who's hot, who can give you the best out there. And, and it's hard also just, you know, as a former player myself, which I hate to say that, but as a former player myself, sometimes your first couple of minutes are terrible, but then you come back and you give an amazing few minutes. So, you know, you know trying to be sensitive to everything and just try to get the best, the best out of everyone and the best on the court. But it's, you know, obviously it's challenging. I think it's going to continue to be challenging. We have a deep roster and find the balance of not only how to get the minutes in, but who to get the, the correct combinations at the right time, too. How did Kuzma's neck issue come about? It seemed like he went out and tried to warm up, right? Yeah, I, I I do not know. I'll, I'm not going to speculate. I have no idea if he went out there to warm up or not. I was still in the back. I was probably in with you guys, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. So, and I'm not sure how 
occurred, maybe, I don't know. Um, do you have any update on what's in that in three days um, in terms of- uh, I'm not real sure. Uh, you know, I guess you guys are sick of me saying so yes. No, I'm joking. Uh, I, I, I just, as, as, as I said earlier, like I'm, I'm hoping he's back as soon as possible. I hope that for him, I hope that for our team, you know, I miss having him around. Uh, I miss his leadership. So, and you know, as you guys know already, Wes is a pretty awesome guy. So it's just good to have his energy around. We only have time for one question on Zoom. So we'll go to your on. Um, Coach, uh, can you uh, talk about Denny's uh, playmaking today? Uh, yeah, I think Denny had a good game. And he came out and uh, did what we asked of him. You know, he um, shot the shots when they're open. Uh, he had six assists, so he made some good passes as well. I think the big thing, you know, I think what we're going to begin to know him for is being a very good defensive player, a defensive stopper that can go guard multiple positions. He has a good body size where he can get in front of people, does a very good job of um, defending with his body and not so much his hands. I, you know, I still think he can clean up some of his little, he gets those little tic-tac fouls every once in a while that we hate to see, um, just kind of bailing people out. But I think he hates that about that too. And, you know, he's, he's working on getting better at that. But, you know, I was very happy the way what he did tonight, you know, his energy, his willingness to do whatever is necessary. We've had a pretty steady trajectory since you've been back. What has been your focus in getting back on the court? Um, right now, for me, it's just like trying to get back to, trying to get the rhythm, you know. Uh, I haven't played um, actual games in like a while, so um, I'm trying to get the rhythm. I think it's getting back, um, you know, um, and especially with this team, you know, we have a couple of new guys, we have a couple of new guys, so um, those, are, those are things I'm just trying to focus on, you know, have a good chemistry with them, and, yeah. Does it matter that the rotations are kind of constantly changing with you and TV back and everything like that? Is, is it harder to play, I guess, when there are so many different guys coming in and out? Yeah, for sure. We right now, I think we have like 11, 11 guys, you know, yeah. on the court. You know, we have a everybody can play, so you know, it's it's actually hard for the coaches, you know. Um, for me, I just like you know, focus on my minutes, you know, how I can help this team to win, uh, you know, no matter. Whatever, you know, uh, 15, 20, 30, it don't matter. You know, I just gonna, I'm just going to play hard and uh, try to uh, win this, uh, help this team win. I know you said your win was kind of fine, even in your first game back, but do you feel like you're, you could play more and more each night? Does it feel a little bit more comfortable? Yeah, for sure. I know, like I, like I say, you know, I'm trying to get my, my, my rhythm, so rhythm back. So, you know, I've been communicating with the coaches, uh, trainers, and everybody. So, yeah, I think uh, we'll see. We see about that, yeah. What's the more comfortable shoot for you? Has it been a point of emphasis to add bark on your shot? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been walking on it, you know, since I got here. You know, I got drafted. Um, I think uh, it's more about confidence, you know. My confidence is going up for sure. Um, I'm more, you know, comfortable shooting threes. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, that's going to be big for me, you know, uh, making threes and uh, do all the stuff that I've been doing. Yeah. And tonight, how do you explain the, the momentum swings? Uh, you guys playing really well in the first and obviously second, third. And yeah, we, we talked about it before the game, you know, uh, we got to give a first punch tonight. And uh, we did it, actually. We did it, but um, we couldn't continue just, you know, do it. So. Um, I think we just got to keep doing it and, you know, it's, got, it's tough, you know, it was a tough one, but, you know, just like us, like we just got, we still trying to figure out, you know, our chemistry. Um, finally, we got 14 guys, you know, like last week or something. So, you know, we're still trying to figure out, you know, but I think we're going to get there. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Neil, do you have a question? Hey, Rui, just after these two kind of tough losses, what, do, what would you describe the mood in the locker room like? Um, it's okay, you know, you know, everybody, you know, of course, everybody has to lose. So, uh, of course, you know, we, we, we trying to figure out, you know, but it's not, it's not nothing bad, you know, no bad energy around here. We're just trying to uh, 
and get better. You know, we have practice tomorrow and you know, we just, we just got to talk through, you know, with the films and stuff and we're going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, the biggest is our turnovers. You know, we, we turned it over way too many times and I think they got what, 27 points out of that. You know, that's to their eight, you know, that's, that's unacceptable, you know, and it's, that's a hundred percent on my ass, you know, so. But we still had chances to win. I think just third quarter we we had a lot of slippage. You know they they were more physical than we were. Even in the second quarter, I think first quarter we came out aggressive and hit them. And I think second and third quarter they kind of flipped it on us, and we didn't necessarily retaliate back. You know, and I think that uh, just their their energy, you know, kind of changed the game. What were they able to do even in nine times? 100 percent I mean, that's what, I mean, we, we know that's what Nick Nurse does. You know, that's, that's that's who he is. Every time I play him, he's he's making it tough. He's he's trying to get the ball in my hand. You know, and it's it's tough for me because it's not like I was just throwing that bitch all over the floor. You know, it was just, you know, they were swiping down. I was driving in traffic, and there's a lot of guys there, his hands there, they were shrinking the floor. Um, so they, you know, they got they got they got steals, you know, they they were able to get their hands on. Well, a lot of them, some I feel like were fouls, but you know I can't, I can't get those back, and I can't complain about them. You know I gotta take care of it. Tenji mentioned mm-hmm. Nick Nurse by name to excerpt a lot of the things against the Raptors. Mm-hmm. Um, does, does it seem like the Raptors are more acutely aware of what we do uh, than most teams? Uh, probably, um, or at least they take pride in not letting me um, kind of do what I like to do out there, um, or at least be comfortable doing what I like to do. You know, they, they definitely make it tough and it made me work, you know, and that's, I told Fred that I said, I, I always respect that when I play you guys, you know, sometimes it may get chippy or we may talk trash, but it's, it's a competitive game. Like I enjoy competing against that team. Um, you know, it's a fun, they have, they have a fun group, you know, they, they go hard and they play small. Like they didn't have any bigs out there. They were all the same size. You know, they were just, they just were hungry, you know, and they just grinded it out and played hard. That's how they always are. You know, that's that's a testament to who they are. You know, that's their identity. So you just tip your hat off to them and uh, understand that, you know, that's the type of team they are. They're physical, they're handsy. We knew that coming into the game. And, uh, I just got to be better taking care of it. Special. I've, you can go back and look at any, any interview I've talked about him. Like, I've, I've always been a fan of him since I've coached against him in high school. So I've seen him for the longest and, He's always been a special talent, you know, and tonight he looked like a star. You know, he, he was killing us. And it's crazy because he was, like, making jump hooks all night. It wasn't like he was he wasn't breaking us down. He wasn't hitting us with anything crazy. He kept his game simple um, and efficient, you know. So I'm happy he's, he's, he's getting healthy. He's, he's finding his way. He has a good group of guys to learn from over there. But how difficult those losing eleven first rotation to being any women to get the playing field treatment. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Um it's tough. It's tough on a lot of guys. Um and I get it. You know, we're we're in a it's just the dynamic of our team. You know, it's it's like I always say it's a blessing and a curse to have our depth, but you know, at the same time we have a lot of guys. Uh, you know, play the same position. You know, we have guys getting back healthy. You know, so we're trying to get them up to speed and get them going, acclimated, and deadlines right around the corner. So it's it's a lot. It's a lot that's being juggled. Um, you know, coaches in the organization trying to figure out what they like. Um, you know, players trying to prove themselves and you know showcase themselves and <laughs> try to help win games. And it's tough, man. I get it. You know, and it's there's been times where my rotation may be weird. You know, because we're trying to get everybody, uh, you know, involved in the game. You know, so it's 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 going to be a work in progress, and I think that's where the sacrifice and being a professional comes into play. You know, because you know, it's it's not just happening with our team; it's happening with all teams around the league. You look at Toronto; they're playing seven, eight guys their last few games. You know, so they've they've cut their lineup down tremendously. Um, you know, so you see that. You know, there's going to be guys who are happy; there's going to be guys unhappy. Um, you know, it's about what's best for us in, in terms of winning. You know, we got to 
I'm sure we'll probably cut it down for sure, but it is tough to play with guys. From a player's perspective, part of it, unfamiliarity with yeah, well, I mean, somewhat, you know, it's tough for me, uh, you know, trying to get guys back acclimated and and trying to learn them, I think, because I know Rui, I know TB, and I know how they play, you know, and I think it, it may be tough for everybody else to kind of gravitate towards that and, you know, Rui trying to decide if we want them at the three or the four, like, it's, it's different, it's, it's, it's totally different than last year. Um, you know, but we're, we're figuring it out, you know, it's, uh, it's a work in progress for sure. You know, um, we're, we're, we're figuring it out. We're trying, we're searching for sure. It's tough because Wes isn't here too. So, um, to give his imprint on, you know, what he sees the team as. So he's going with the flow. Another one on the, the way the Raptors defending you. Maybe it's something maybe just finally noticed tonight, but it seemed like every time you made two shots in a row, they called time out. Is that something hmm. that they seem to do more often? Than <laughs> uh, that's coach for you. Uh, I never paid attention to that. That's it. I watched the game tonight. Um, I'm, I'm gonna check that out, Chase. That's a good. That's a good observation. I didn't. Damn, he don't want me. To, he don't want me to do nothing tonight. Uh, I'm gonna check that out. I mean, that's 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 good coaching. You know, it's good. I mean, he he don't want me doing anything out here on the floor positive. So. I'm not mad at it, you know. Um, I think they, they did a good job executing their game plan and making it tough on me. And like I said, I turned the ball over way too many times for us to, to win. Christos? Hey, Brad, hope you're doing well. Tonight, we're starting pretty well the game. You take the lead from the beginning. What do you need to do to be more consistent? Because you lost, uh, you had you lost your tempo in third quarter. What do you need to be more consistent as a team? A great question. Um, and that's kind of been our our identity crisis, you know, this whole year of, of just finding that consistency, um, you know, night in and night out. And for a full 48 minutes, you know, we've I think even the last few games we've came out and hit, hit, hit the first quarter. And then second, third quarter, we kind of die down and try to make a heroic, you know, run in the fourth. Um, you know, we got to stop doing that. You know, we got to stop putting ourselves in those positions. Um, and be more, be more aggressive. Stay, keep your foot on the gas. You know, don't, it's always the cliche saying, don't get, you know, bored with success. You know, don't get tired of doing the same things over and over again. You know, if there's success, if you're having success doing it. So, um, uh, and that's on the defensive end and the offensive end. So I think just, we got to be more in tune and locked in and, and understanding, you know, how to put teams away because that's a scrappy team. Toronto's scrappy. They don't care if they're up 20, down 20. They're going to play hard regardless. You know, we have to have that. We have to develop that same mentality. You know, we have to have that same. We're going to be physical nonstop every single minute of the game. You know, we don't, we don't have that. We have spurts of it. Thank you very much, Brad. Last question, Neil. Hey, Brad. Um Curious, you know, when Chase is saying that, oh, you're going to go check and watch that out. Is that something that you do just, you know, night of the game that you go back and, you know, watch a game film? Is that something you do every night or just certain games? I'm uh, not always. I mean, now I think about it as late as hell. I probably, I doubt I'll stay up and watch it tonight. Uh, but I do, I do watch it. I, I'm always an active learner with the game. And, you know, I'm, I always feel like I can improve. I have a lot to get better at. And our team has a lot we can be better at, you know. So the film don't lie. The film never lies to you, the eye in the sky. You know, we we always come in the next day and watch it as a team, you know, and you know, everything that we, we may have said, oh, it wasn't my fault that day. In the moment, you know, you watch film and it is your fault, you know. So um, just understanding how we can be better, how I can be better, you know, how teams are guarding me, how I can take a better advantage of situations, how I can avoid putting myself in certain situations. Um, and just how to be better, you know, it's, I can always be better. I'm not, I'm not, I'm far from perfect, far from it. To start the fourth quarter, Nurse lets you get three buckets before you call that timeout. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. <laughs>